Hello grade 6, our lesson today is lines and circles. It's chapter 3 on the page 21 on our books. The objectives of this lesson is to determine the position of a straight line with respect to a circle, knowing the average distance from the center of the circle to the straight line. So we have to determine the position of the straight line knowing the distance between the center and this straight line so let's do the first activity reproduce the opposite figures and draw the different in different colors the lines so we have to draw these lines oa at bt and finally ab Without doing any other drawing, determine the length in centimeters uh, of the distance from point O, this point, from point O, to each of the lines OA, OA. Faidan, if I have to measure the distance from O to the, uh, to the uh, line, we have to take a perpendicular projection or perpendicular uh, distance so first of all what's the distance between O and OA we see that O belongs to OA so whenever the point belongs to the uh, line so the distance is 0 then measure the distance from O to AT this is AT we use the protractor to draw a perpendicular line to AT and then we measure this newly drawn line this newly drawn line so the distance is 1.2 centimeters then we have to measure the distance to BT this is BT we can pr prolongate it a little bit and we draw a perpendicular projection then and we measure the distance which is 2 centimeters and finally we have to measure the distance to AB this is the line AB so you, we use our protractor to draw a perpendicular line and then we measure this segment and it is 3.2 centimeters then construct the circle C of center O and radius OT. So we have to draw a circle of center O. So we put the needle of the, of the dry point of the compass on O and we open till the pencil touch the point T and we draw the circle. Reproduce and complete the table. Here we have the line the, and we have to indicate the number of common points with the circle C. OA. So let's see the line OA. How many points in common with OA and the circle? We have one point. So we have one point with the segment OA but if OA is a straight line as it's denoted here so we have to prolongate OA and then we have two points okay present OA we have two points AT we have one point in common two points in common so with AT we have two points in common with BT as we see here there is just only one point which is at T AB as we see there is no common point between the circle and the line AB so zero points in common does the distance from the center O to the circle uh, of the center of the circle uh, to the straight line allow to determine the number of common points uh, between uh, the circle and D and how yes the distance allow us to determine the number of common points how how we can know this 
let's see first in this case we have we have first of all this is the distance in red line and this is the radius in blue color which one is greater we say we see that the distance is greater than the radius so we see that distance is greater than radius and there is no common points in this case we have this is the distance in red color and the radius in blue color we see that distance is less than the radius and we have one two points in common in the third case this is the the distance and this is the radius and we see that the distance and radius have equal lengths so one point on common so we can determine the number of common points knowing the distance between the center and the straight line so first of all we have the circle and we have a line a line the distance is greater than the radius and we say that this line is external line so when whenever the distance is greater than the radius it's a an external line and with no common points with the circle if we have another line it touches the circle with point let's call it point t the distance here equal to radius and there's only one common point of intersection between the circle and the line this point is called tangency point and the line is called a tangent third case in this case the distance is less than the radius and there are two common points and this line is called a secant this blue line is called a secant further case one the distance is greater than r so it's exterior or external line the distance equal to r its tangent line the distance is less than the radius and it's a secant and we note that we have two common points we have here one common point which is the tangency point and in this case there is no common points the tangent as we see in this figure the line t is called a tangent and it is perpendicular to the uh, radius we have right angle here and there is only one common point in uh, which is the tangency point so what do we mean by chord suppose we have the circle and this line d line d is a secant the secant intersect with the circle with two points and look at this part of the secant interior to the circle we say that the segment AB is a chord so AB is a part of a secant that lies in the circle and the segment AB is called chord so let's see another examples of chords A1B1 is a chord A2B2 is a chord A3B3 is a chord and notice for the red chord it's special since it's passing through the center of the circle right let's now compare their lengths as you see here that the red one is the is greatest in length so we say that the chord passing through the center of the circle is the longest chord and at the same time it's called the diameter of the circle so the diameter of the circle is the longest chord vice versa we say that the longest chord in the circle is the diameter let's see the arcs so we have a1b1 is a chord a3b3 is a chord 
passing through the center and we, we said that A3, B3 is diameter since it's passing through the center. So what's the arc? The arc is a part of the perimeter of the circle. So the arc is a part of the perimeter. That's the, the first arc. So this part of the perimeter is called arc and this part of the perimeter is called arc. Notice here that the arc facing the diameter is called semicircle. Semicircle. From our book, let's have a look. We say that D is external line. So the external line has no common points and the distance is greater than zero, than a radius. A tangent line, so the tangent has only one common point. It's called the point of tangency and the distance is equal to the radius. Uh, the secant has two distinct points in common with the circle. The distance is less than the radius. The secant cuts the circle into arcs and the part or the segment uh, which lies in the circle is called chord and the longest chord of the circle is called the diameter. and the arcs determined by the diameter are called semicircles. So let's have a recall about the types of straight lines. We have segment. Segment has a starting point, ending point, and we can measure it. The ray, we have uh, the segment we can denote by square bracket each, each side because we know its length. For the semi-line, we know the starting point, but do not know where the end point. So we denote it by a round bracket or parenthesis like this. The straight line, in this case, we put round bracket around C and D and we don't know its measure and we cannot measure it. So the elements of the circle, we have the center. The center is the point in the middle of the circle. The radii is the plural of radius. We have many radii. This is a radius. This is a radius. This is a radius. This is a radius. A radius is a point that starts from the center to the perimeter of the circle is called a uh, radius. The diameter, diameter is a uh, line inside the circle that passes it through the center and it cuts the circle into two equal parts or two equal arcs which, is, which are called semicircles. EF is an arc so this part of the perimeter of the circle is called arc. Secant is a line that cuts the circle and has two common points with the circle. The chord is the part of the segment that lies inside the circle. A tangent is a point that touches the circle with, uh, with one point and it's perpendicular to the radius the point is called the tangency point in the focus we say that we see that uh, here we have an external line no points in common and the distance is greater than zero uh, than radius this line that cuts the circle we see that it's passing through the center. This line is called secant and the part of the secant in, uh, in the circle is called chord. The chord that's passing through the center is called the diameter and it's the longest chord in the circle. 
and the arc which is facing the diameter is called semicircle this is this line is called tangent and it touches the circle with one point and the tangent is perpendicular to the radius